Primas stands for promoting inquiry-based learning in mathematics and science across Europe. The objective of Primas is to make inquiry-based learning in mathematics and science at both primary and secondary schools across Europe more widespread. In order to achieve this aim, a variety of measures are to be carried out in the 12 partner countries, including the setting up of a collection of materials, the provision of long-term professional development courses for teachers, and dissemination activities for both teachers and other target groups, such as parents. The project is to run from 2010 to 2013. The aim of PRIMAS is a widespread implementation of inquiry-based learning in mathematics and science education across Europe. And this is because currently too many students are not interested in mathematics and science and thus, as a consequence, do not choose related careers. And this, of course, may lead to the fact that Europe may fail the needs of the labour market in the future and thus is not competitive enough. In other words, PRIMAS has one simple aim to foster the use of IBL in maths and science education across Europe. However, implementation is complex, in particular because it is faced with a diversity of national contexts. So, what additional value does cooperation at European level bring to the individual Primus partners and countries? I think the consortia working together is more than the sum of its parts. So I think that the European dimension is important. You, you just see things from a different point of view. The teachers who become involved, in my experience, find it quite exciting to be doing things that they know colleagues in other European countries are, are doing and they, they like the exchange of information that such a project allows. All countries have different traditions. So we, uh, in the Netherlands, look to real-life problems but in, uh, present them in a certain way and in this European context you learn from each other other ways to pose problems and to learn better how to do it in an inquiry-based setting. This brings us to the question of what IBL actually is. Well, different contexts and cultures produce a variety of different perspectives on IBL. But this is legitimate and even necessary as each country will have its own classroom culture with individual needs and settings. For me, uh, IBL is about uh, students becoming more active inquirers in the mathematics and science classroom. Students ask their own questions, they work together to try and tackle them. Uh, the teacher acts as a collaborator in this process. What I learned within this project is that you also need to open up these kind of questions to learn, to have students learn how to collect data, to be critical about the data they find and to be able to communicate about when they have made a choice. IBL is generally about uh, ensuring that uh, the competences developed in mathematics teaching and in science teaching is uh, relevant for the needs of society. In a modern society based on democracy, we need uh, citizens that are well aware of uh, what mathematics and science is about. The national conditions for implementing IBL in Europe are quite diverse. And while there is a need for mutual understanding and for a common core and structure, there also needs to be room for targeted adaptations to national contexts. While for some countries, the provision of IBL teaching materials may play a dominant role, for example, for others, it might be more important to work on the implementation of professional development courses or alignment with assessment practices. Let's hear some comments about the general climate and the dominant issues in some of the PRIMAS countries. The new curriculum in Spain and in the region of Andalusia is quite supportive for teachers to use IBL. So I think that we need just to promote the philosophy of IBL among teachers and support them with good materials and good professional development. Um, it is not uh, possible to say that IBL is widespread in Slovakian schools. From the point of view of uh, implementation of results of, the, of this project in Slovakian schools, 
is very important to have materials uh, for everyday using uh, at schools. Uh, at least in, in upper secondary education, IVL has got um, an established position, at least in the, in the sense that uh, it's, it's part of the examination programs that students do some, some larger student research work before getting their final diploma. And that really stimulates a lot the introduction of IBL in the rest of the curriculum. Uh, there were recent changes in Romania uh, regarding the didactic uh, aspects of the curriculum. I think premises is very important because we have the opportunity to change our day-to-day -day teaching practice. I don't think very many at the moment are doing inquiry-based learning. But I think that if they were given the environment and, and freedom to do that, the inspections, the government inspections of schools encourage it. The national curriculum has it there, but the assessment doesn't value it. While projects like Primus obviously have to balance overarching IBL concepts and professional development models with adapting to local needs, in order to ensure cultural and ecological validity, there are also, however, some issues that arise in all settings. These are the political and cultural frameworks which both support and limit the conditions for implementation, the question of how to actively contribute to the development of these frameworks, and how to connect current initiatives with longer-term programs and educational policies in order to make a sustainable impact. Senior leaders in schools, head teachers um, and others are key to the implementation of um, IBL because they are the ones who set the ethos of the school. Clearly support from policy makers is essential um, at, at all levels so in a way it's about um, making sure that we work with all the layers. Primus can do something when it comes to initiating a development, but in the long run, what is really important is that, that we have systems, sustainable systems in the, in, the, in the societies that ensures that teachers would have the, maybe not only the option, but also the obligation to engage in continuous professional development, which is research-based. For IBL to be implemented in schools and classrooms, policies have to uh, be such that they support the teachers in their uh, use of IBL and this is very complex and challenging because there are many aspects of policy that can, can and do impact on uh, what teachers do in classrooms, through from the design of the curriculum to assessment and then uh, measures that can be put in place. Uh, more, more quickly uh, to solve problems that politicians see. During the lifetime we will have impact on those schools and teachers we work with across Europe, which is quite a large number, um, and we will support them in enriching their teaching strategies and in turn of course students will profit from this. But teachers do not only need support during four years, but they need it for a longer period. So I think for the future it's highly relevant to make our work sustainable, to um, set up new structures which actually provide a sustainable framework for continuing our work. So, the starting point for Primus, as part of other initiatives and projects, was the endeavour to change day-to-day -day teaching practice in mathematics and science. Across Europe, many actors on different levels are already joining forces and collaborating in this endeavour. As we look to the future, there will be additional capacities needed and continued efforts necessary to finally reach our common European goals. But most importantly, we can see that the spirit has already been ignited and that teachers and students, teacher educators and researchers, politicians and other key stakeholders are all ready to set out on the road to advancing IBL, an innovative society, our citizens and Europe.